in the previous video we have discussed what is a graph coloring problem and also we put one example and from that example we got some idea how the graph coloring is taking place. But now in this particular session we are going to discuss the graph coloring algorithm and it will be the backtracking algorithm because we are trying to find out all possible solutions of this graph coloring problem. So, here we will be having mainly two functions one is the m coloring another one is the next value. So, let us go through the m coloring at first then we shall go for the next value. m coloring uh, algorithm m coloring k say from the main function when this particular m coloring will be called for the first time. So, then it will be called as m coloring within bracket 1. So, I shall go for the first node. So, now in this way it is telling that this graph was formed using recursive backtracking schema. The graph is represented by its boolean adjacency matrix with the size n cross n. All assignments of 1 to m, m is the chromatic number we know to the vertices of the graph such that adjacent vertices are assigned distinct integers are printed. K is the index of the next vertex to color. So, k is the index of the next vertex to color. So, from the main function if I call this particular function then I shall be passing m coloring 1 because the first node has to be colored and that is the first initiative going to take place. Now, repeat until false. So, it is going for an infinite loop. Next value k, next value k is a function I shall discuss that one later. Next value k is a function which will provide the color for the kth node. Okay. Now, if it can pro provide color then it will print a value keeping the value at the kth location of the array x. The concept of the array x we shared in the earlier video please watch that one please. So, now k x is nothing but x is nothing but one global array which is having n number of locations x 1 means containing the col that is containing the color value or the color number of the node number 1. So, x i means the x i means that means the array name is x at the ith location I am having one value the value will be in between 1 to m that is the color for the respective node i and if next value k returns or puts the value 0 at the kth location of the array x that means next value k cannot suggest any color maintaining color constraints. I think you are getting my issue. Next value k will put a color value and the value should be ranging from 0 to m at the location k of the x array. If the color value is 0 that means next value k could not suggest any valid color for the kth node maintaining the graph coloring constraints. But the if the value is non-zero that is in between 1 to m that means next value k suggested a valid color. Okay. Now, see if x k is equal, to, is equal to 0 that means it could not suggest then return. So, now you see it will be returned. So, return to what? Return to m coloring k minus 1 that instance of the recursion. So, it will be control will be returned to that particular color. If k is equal to is equal to n that means x k is not equal to 0 that is why the control has come to this line and k is equal to is equal to means this the, the x array has got completely filled up with the respective color with one complete solution set. So, please print the solution. So, write x 1 colon n. So, it will print the solution else it will go for the next nodes coloring. So, m coloring k plus 1. In this way this particular algorithm will be working. Again you see this is a recursive function because the m coloring has been called from m coloring and it is getting done within recursion that is repeat until it is going within recursion. So, sorry go to, uh, going within iteration. So, recursion within iteration repeat until means iteration. So, recursion within iteration that means it is going to give you all possible solutions for a given graph and obviously for a given value of m. Okay, now, let us go for this next value k algorithm x is equal to x 1 to x k minus 1 that means the prior 1 to k minus 1 number of locations of the x array 
have been assigned integer values in the range 1 to n such that adjacent vertices have distinct integers. A value for x k is determined in the range 0 to m. I told you this one earlier. x k is assigned next highest number color while maintaining distinctness from the adjacent vertices of vertex k. If no such color exists, then it will put 0 at x k, x of k. So, now in this way it has been done. Repeat until false. So, it is following an infinite loop. So, now initially at the kth location as we are going to suggest color for the first time at the kth location. So, kth location will be having value 0. So, 0 plus 1. So, let it be 1. It is 1. Let us suppose m is equal to 4. Then mod of m plus 1 means 1. So, that means 1 mod 5 you are getting 1. So, that value has been put. In this way next time it will go for 2, next time it will go for 3, then 4, then 5 when it will go for 5 because m is equal to 4 means valid colors are ranging from 1 to 4. But as you are doing this mod with m plus 1, so 5 mod 5 will become 0. So, in that case x k will get 0, 0 that means the kth location got tested with 1, 2, 3, 4, but the colors are not in accordance with the graph coloring constraints. So, now it has become 0 then return that means the solution has not been obtained for that kth location and then also it will also return to the respective color. Otherwise, it will check for j is equal to 1 to n for all nodes it will check and this is my adjacency boolean matrix. So, it will check that whether j and k are adjacent or not. If j and k are adjacent then the corresponding location of this two dimensional array matrix will be not equal to 0 that means j and k are, ad, are adjacent means they are having some direct edge in between and x k is equal to is equal to x j that means this particular color is repeating that means the corresponding nodes are adjacent and colors are also same that means it is uh, going against the graph coloring constraint. So, that is why it will go for break immediately it will go for break. So, it will come out from the for loop otherwise the full loop that means j is equal to 1 to n will get executed and they, then they, it will come out. So, now I shall have to check whether really it came out from this for loop due to the break statement or due to the uh, completion of this looping. We know that for j is equal to 1 to n if one loop continues then after, ex after exit the value of j will become n plus 1. If the loop has not got terminated somehow in between by some logic then the value of j after this loop will become n plus 1. So, if j is equal to equal n plus 1 that means I did not face break that means there was no conflict. So, then return so the control will be returned. So, that means I put a color at the kth location maintaining the graph coloring constraint. So, I am returning my control. So, it will be returned to this particular location and it will go for this particular section because x k is equal to 0 is not true for here. If it is true then from here it will return. So, now it will, it will go for that and until false means it will go on looping infinitely. So, it will come out if graph coloring constant has been uh, has been uh, has not been maintained. So, it will come out from the loop and then it will check really it came out due to the break or uh, due to the completion of the loop. If it is due to the break then this condition will not be satisfied. So, it will go to this particular uh, repeat block again and it will increase the value of x k by 1 and suggesting the next color for x k and go on doing the same check again. So, in this way the graph coloring algorithm is uh, playing its role and there is a m coloring you can you can get the text and this is my next value k. So, I think you are getting the uh, logic and grip over this particular subject. Thanks for watching this video.